Good morning. Didn't leave enough pause between my. <laughs> yeah. Quiet on the set. <laughs> Good morning. This is Dealer with the Crazy Picker Life. The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Good morning. This is Dealer with the Crazy Picker Life. Welcome to fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. I've got my crew with me this morning. There's Frank Fritz back there. Mike Wolf over in the passenger seat. And we are Crazy Picker American Pickers. Yeah, exactly. Ha ha ha. This is a crazy picker life. I'm Dealer. There's Wheeler, Banana Peeler back there. We're getting going this morning. It's close to 9 a.m. We've got uh, rain and wind and storms are going to clear away. We got some uh, non-picking work to do this morning. But trying to find uh, reasons to get out and do some picking. So we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get to some locations this morning. And who knows what else uh, what else we'll find. So thanks for joining us and on with today's show. Go ahead. That's all right. I'm not. I edit. I edit I'll, everybody. I hate. I'm. I mean. <laughs> I say that. I just didn't want to be in the picture. So we're donating a bunch of stuff here to a local uh, single store thrift store. And the good news is the guy came out to look at the furniture and he said, I just got in a whole bunch of SLR cameras. And so that's really crazy because we've been in his place a number of times. We've been in his place a number of times and he's never had anything of any value. So we don't know what we're going to get there, but it's kind of a nice surprise. And we'll take Wheeler along and see what we can get. A little pick in here. Woo! Didn't know if we were going to get any today. Adjusting one? No. There's a few, Zeiss, there a few cameras. Zeiss lens. Yeah. Yep. All right, so we're looking at some cameras here. What's the name of your store? Uh, community Thrift Store. Community Thrift Store. You're on YouTube now. Oh, don't put me on YouTube. Really? No, oh, I don't care. It don't matter to me. <laughs> so we brought some uh, furniture down here, and now we get to look at some cameras. Your lens. Wheeler's gonna tell us what we like. So what did we get, Wheeler? No quick estimate because I don't remember everything we got for sure, but I know for sure we have a context camera with the lens that's 200 bucks plus, and then we have a Nikon with the lens, two Nikons, and then one lens that's good. Probably another 100, 150, probably a little more than that. The Nikon spider scope is anywhere between two and four hundred dollars. And we paid? Hundred dollars. Now we got a good deal because? Probably because we brought them a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, we just bought them, brought them like Three, <laughs> three truckloads of uh, reasonably good furniture and yep. such. So good camera stuff, even better spotting scope. That was the pinnacle. It looks mint shape with a bunch of accessories in a case. Well, we'll show it. We'll show a yep. full uh, haul video probably next week. Yep. Okay, thank you. So we're taking on our last load to uh, this thrift store and. Uh, the proprietor here handed us a note of somebody that was trying to sell him cameras. And so Wheeler. Uh, like I said, we're at the thrift shop right now. I think we're dropping off some stuff and we're just going down the path. Wheeler's talking to him and seeing if we can check him out. So we got another lead yeah, for some cameras. Funny how this uh, all works out. Okay, hey, I'm on a break from uh, working with my brother-in-law and dealing with an estate uh, in Wisconsin here. And um, we brought some, some items, some thrift items, some large items. Uh, bugs and mosquitoes here by the dozen. Uh, we, we brought them to a local thrift store, and we've actually, there's probably four or five thrift stores in town, I think. That's our third one that we've utilized. I'm gonna get eaten alive here. I better shut my door. The mosquitoes are coming in. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, so we took the, the bigger items to the thrift store today, and the guy had some cameras for us, and those turned, turned out to be pretty good, pretty good quality. Uh, there were a few pieces in there that were, were things that we would normally be after. And then we had a follow-up load we brought over there, and uh, the guy had just talked to somebody on the phone about some cameras that he wanted to sell the thrift store. And the thrift store said, hey, I don't buy cameras. And uh, handed us the number. Wheeler called them. And the biggest thing that I want to talk about is if you are out actively pursuing Craigslist or leads of any kind for anything that you buy and sell, the number one thing you can do before you go out to the, the place or wait around for somebody to show up or you know, however you deal with this lead, the number one thing you need to do is qualify the items uh, to make sure it's worth your while or if it's a honey hole to make sure that you've got enough money. I mean, there's a number of things that, that you need to do there. In this particular case, most of the stuff did not sound that great, which should have been an indicator to Wheeler. And it was because he continued to ask questions it turned out one of the items was an Argus brick camera. And the Argus brick cameras, the camera bodies are desirable to a point. If you can pick them up for a couple bucks, they can sell for 30 35 We wouldn't drive around just to pick up an Argus brick. So Wheeler asked if it had anything else, and the guy said it had a couple lenses. And I probably would have asked a few more questions. There was no way to really get a picture of it. But when we showed up, the lenses happened to be filters instead of lenses. The lenses could sell for 100 or more each. The filters sell for $12.99 at best case. Um, so Wheeler offered him 5 bucks, which is kind of embarrassing. But in reality, we didn't want the stuff. While we were there, and we talked about this right away, I said, hey, look, you know, if the guy's got stuff that he's trying to unload, maybe he's a buyer and seller, maybe he's dealing with an estate, maybe he's just downsizing. And so I asked him a few questions. I asked him if he had any beer signs, and it turns out he did. And I went down and looked at him, and it was nothing special. He was a little too attached to the one that I offered him $25 on. Um, I could offer a little bit more. I just I don't like to buy the plastic ones much anymore. Uh, this was a 60s Pabst plastic hanging lamp. It was nice and everything. It might have sold for 70 bucks plus shipping. But, I, I, you know, there's a certain breakage factor with those. So I'm mostly after the metal signs and the higher end stuff. I'm just getting more picky. And, and that's just where I'm at in this, uh, in this business cycle. I don't just pick up everything. Now, if it's something that I really like, like a Schlitz or a Blatz, uh, thing I would buy something less expensive or if it's something broken that's high-end like I've bought some little signs cash register beer toppers that normally if they're in good position uh, good condition they might sell for two hundred dollars or more I'll buy those broken for five ten bucks and those will still sell for parts for 50 or more and they're just so cool I, I will buy stuff like that you know same with cameras there are certain cameras that are just cool, cool factor, and so we'll we'll go out of our way a little bit more for those. So that turned out to be a goose chase for us. If we ask the right questions, typically 50% uh, of our goose chases turn out to be good ones. Um, you can qualify better. You can qualify worse. You'll have to work on it. For us, um, we have went on so many goose chases early on in this game that we learned that we could goose chase ourselves halfway across the country and end up with nothing. So if that's happening to you, you need to qualify your leads better. If you have any questions about that, specific questions, general questions, anything I covered, you want to comment on that, that would be fine. Slow news day today. I'm going to have a couple more things in the vlog today, but in reality, for a couple more days, I'm just tied to this project I'm in and uh, making great progress. Got a little more sleep than uh, the last couple of days that you've seen me. And so everything's good, relaxed, you know, having some fun too. So thanks for watching. I'm sure there's a few more segments coming up.
Well, this isn't my first Jeep here. Wheeler, uh, you weren't born when I got my first Jeep, and then uh, some of you that have watched the vlog have uh, seen Wheeler held in my arms in my 99 Wrangler. Well, here's the resting place of my 71 CJ5. Uh, you can see the body, there's some trees starting to grow through it. Yeah, the um, oh, I haven't been back here in a while. Walk into the snake pit. This body's in pretty good shape. <laughs> Usually the the gas tank was under here. Oh, that one's not in too bad a shape. Whole bodies, a lot of them rusted out in the back, so they replaced them with sheet metal. There's a frame somewhere in there that I put the P.O.R. super coating on. It takes care of the rust or you do a rust treatment and then you put the P.O.R. on. That's forever. And I see part of the frame there. It's looks like it's in good shape. It's starting to become part of the forest. It's got mold all over it. There's the hood and the engine. And who, who knows? All kinds of stuff back here. So this one may or may not move again. It's been back here for 15 years at least. Probably 15 years, maybe 14 years. I'm a thousand miles away from it right now. Wow, and right now. I sort of, uh, I sort of let it go. But this is its resting place out at my brother-in-law's farm. You guys are just sitting around on the job. Yeah, uh, leave poor dealer out on the path. It's so hot. It's like 86 degrees, 98% humidity. Dealer's acclimated to the west. This is killing me. Here comes the mosquitoes. All right, we're picking up some pizza at Lisa Pizzeria. At least my brother-in-law is. And Wheeler and I are going to go down to this pawn store down here. On the way, we're going to do maybe, we've been thinking about doing some retail arbitrage at Shockwave Video, the adult superstore. Yeah, I see that says adult on there. I'm like 17, I'm almost there. Yeah, I, I don't think we'll go do any retail arbitrage uh, there. Yeah, I'm feeling it today. Let it, Market's not really one we're nah. really into. But there's Casey's Pawn and Retail Buy Sell Trade. No so way to get into it. We ought to figure it out. <laughs> okay, just a quick wrap up before we wrap up this vlog. You know, I'm trying to do a lot of things on this trip and it's hard to uh, come up with anything too spontaneous. So please bear with us. It looks like we're going to do some pretty good picking on Thursday and Friday. And then we'll be uh, wrapping things up here, having some fun maybe on Saturday and back on the road on Sunday. So, you know, if you don't want to tune into tomorrow's vlog, don't do it. Although you never know what might happen and we'll try to show you. Um... So we went into that pawn shop and it was right to, towards closing time and uh, you know Wheeler found a bunch of cameras and just was kind of crabby because we had such a hard day and we hadn't had supper yet so we kind of ruffled some feathers and uh, bought a good camera but we're going to go back on Thursday or Friday there's some other stuff they're going to price and we're going to go in with clearer heads not from being out in the sun all day and all that kind of good stuff so we should be able to pull some more lenses and some camera things out of there uh, let's see Friday and Saturday we're probably going to do a bunch of rummage sailing some sort of citywide thing here on Saturday that they do every six or eight weeks so, and we might go up to Madison Thursday or Friday, which is, oh, it's about a 50-minute drive. And there's some interesting stuff for us up there. 
So lots of stuff going on. Um, long days. I probably mentioned. I think it's 11 p.m. And this is the earliest we've ever wrapped up our day uh, on this trip. Sorry, I was laying down and relaxing there. I'm about ready to cash it in. So I wanted to end this vlog just sort of with a wrap-up like that and not just leave you hanging. Um, trying to think what the last clip was. Hard to tell. We showed you my old Jeep and I don't remember. <laughs> Okie dokie. Thanks for watching. Uh, would love it if you'd subscribe. That way you'll know when we're coming out with new things. We're coming out with new videos every single day. This is a daily uh, business and life for me and for my family. We'd like to show as much as we can that makes sense. Leave a comment if you'd like. Give us a thumbs up if you'd like. We're here to answer questions. If you'd like to tell us about your business a little bit and some of the things you do, buying and selling, we like to hear about that. If you'd like to uh, see any aspect of our business that we're not showing, that'd be fine. I don't know if we can do it, but we'll try. So, have a good evening. This will be out in the morning. That's probably when many of you see it. And we'll see you again tomorrow.